Let's get started. I'd like to share a story about Mariah, age five, when my parents realized I have an innate ability to problem solve. They would go in the other room and watch the news while they ate their dinner, while my brother and I ate in the kitchen alone, unsupervised. We did not like cooked broccoli. It was gross. Neither one of us did. I knew if I threw it in the garbage, we would get in trouble. So I spied this little gap between the refrigerator and the wall, and I decided to chuck it in there. I'd poke it back in if it kind of poked out. Problem solved. Food does rot. So I was eventually caught. But no matter what your life experiences are, all those come into play, whether you're a five-year-old dealing with food problems or you're dealing with million dollar issues within your business, we can go over how you break down those tasks in order to solve it. My entire career, I've been told I've been a Jane of all trades, master of none. And until recently, I thought this was a weakness. I've had a lot of titles, I've had a lot of roles, architect, interior designer, urban designer, senior principal, and PA to a CEO. I find the dots and I connect them. I see the pattern. I visualize it and I put it all together. In this AM Masterclass, we are gonna be tackling on how to crack the code on the unsolvable. Assessing the issue. Whether your boss comes to you with what seems to be an unsurmountable problem, or you have a personal project that you're trying to tackle, the most important thing is, is to assess the issue. Like with the broccoli, the issue was you didn't want to eat it. Defining goals. The second part is to define your goals. You need to articulate what it is that you want to get out of solving your own unsolvable problem. Others have to be able to understand what it is that you want out of that goal if you want to get help or not. Like we didn't want to eat the broccoli and we didn't want to get in trouble. Asking questions. The third one is asking questions. Don't worry about looking silly. Chances are most of the people within the room are gonna be thinking the same thing. Be brave, ask it. Don't be afraid of the questions. Sometimes questions lead to more answers. Listening, the fourth one is listening. Don't assume. When asking those questions, really listen to what they're saying. Put yourself in their shoes or think about the, what they're coming from and what you can take from your own experiences to bring that to listen actively and ask more questions. So we knew we had to be stealthy and we had to listen for what they were saying. So I listened to he didn't want to eat the broccoli, but I also listened that they wanted me to eat it. Breaking down the tasks. This is a fifth one, it's quite important. I didn't realize how important this was until recently. My daughter has ADHD and finding what is important for her is breaking down the task. What seemed insurmountable to her was when I said, go clean your room. But when we talked through what those steps were, seven to 10 little steps, it seemed completely doable. The same can be said for any, and it can run fast, it can run smooth, but you just have to know what those small little tasks are. For us, it was make sure they were in watching TV, have a look out, know that we could just squeeze it in that gap and then take a spoon to shove it in there if it didn't want to fit right away. In cracking the code, you need to use the fire that's within you. If you don't want to get your hands dirty and you don't want to get in there and understand, you are not going to solve the issue. You have to want it. You have to want that from within, no matter the size of the problem. So in recapping, you need to first assess the issue, define your goals, ask questions, listen, and break down the tasks. I'm Mariah Kiersey, an architect and senior principal at Anchor Moisten Architects, and this is AM Masterclass.